All right, following on from our last um, adventure with prospective fault current, we worked out that uh, that all this information that we've had, the, the transformer, the, the full load current, the prospective fault current at the transformer, impedance of the transformer winding, which is that, the impedance of the cons mains, which we worked out in the last video, and the prospective fault current at the main switchboard, which we worked out from the last video. That's all in here, and that was the cons mains that we used. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run a sub main from the main switchboard out to a DB. All right, now it's it's 25 mil squared. Now what we say about 25 mil squared and any cable less than 120, we, we use this. If we want to work out the impedance, we just say, ah, oh, look, it's close enough to the resistance, so we don't worry about the reactance. It's a lot of mucking around for not enough gain, so we, f we just use the resistance um, of the cable, and I can tell you from going to 3008 that the RC for 25 mil is 0.884 ohms per kilometre. All right. And then, therefore, we can work out the RC for the sub-main is... ...0.884... ...times 41. Now, I hopefully you picked up the mistake I made, deliberate TAFE teacher mistake. I put in 40 meters there, it's actually 41. I advise you to get one of these rub out pens, they're awesome. So that's 41 meters in line with what it is there. Okay, so over a thousand, of course. And I can tell you from banging that in the calculator, we get 0 0.0362. All right. So that means that the prospective fault current at the distribution board is this big long fraction. Now we've got to include the transformer because that's going to be in the loop if there's a fault current, of course, 0 0.0156. This is going to be in it, 0 0.0113013. And this is going to be in it, 0 0.0362. So it's going to be 230 over all of that. And that comes to, probably shouldn't be too surprised that it's dropped down a fair bit here from, from 14,700 odd at the transformer, by the time you get to here, it's 3645 amps. All right, so there it is. We can include that there. PFI is 3645. And so therefore, Circuit breakers at DB must be able to interrupt three, six, four, five. So you'd be looking at, say, four point five K amps or, or Whatever, whatever, whatever you pick, it's just got to be more than three, six, four, five amps. All right, and that that gets us. That gets us there. That's everything.